to Brenda Shish Live today I'm gonna to be showing you how I created this uh, full body motion capture uh, 3d figure uh, using just an iPad blender and snap lens studio all right so this is the final result as you can see this is all real time um, if I move back and kind of sitting on the chair I can capture my full body um, Earlier today, I was actually capturing myself doing the dance, something like this. So this is pre-recorded um, on the snap lens. Just uh, pardon my dancing. This is pretty fun to create, and I I only use like a, the, my old iPad and just sculpt it using Nomad Sculpt, paint it using Procreate, and that's the result. Okay, so I last night I started by doing doodle basically something like this, just like a concept art, and I was actually using just the symmetry, so I can do like just random doodle like that, and then do symmetry, and then I try to draw it from different angle so I know what the character might look like, and then the next thing I did was to sculpt it using nomad okay uh, nomad sculpt if let me open it quickly so this is the after I sculpt it this is actually after I texture it as well because originally um, it doesn't look like this beforehand it's uh, I started by using the the lath and the tube um, let me show you very quickly if I create a new scene so by default we have sphere I'm gonna delete the sphere so I was using just the last this last tool turn on this curve on the left and I, I was simply like just drawing my character like this yeah actually I didn't even have the leg part just because my character is really simple um, just like the head is yeah basically it's like a vase right um, he's like wearing jacket so from here I can use the tube tool switch it to curve and then just drawing the arm like that so yeah it's really super simple character we can adjust the radius if I double tap it we can control the radius like that so this is what I did you can look at it from different angle just to put it in place same thing with this guy tap radius twice so, okay with the with the <clears throat> with the leg uh we can make the shape like that for the foot and with this also I, I try to put it inside After we do this, uh, we can combine everything just using the voxel merge. So now it's a simple mesh. So now you can start. Uh, you can start sculpting just by using like a move brush, things like that. At some point, you want to do the, like a mirror. So you want to mirror from the right to left. Yes, yeah, like this. So this is how I, cr I create the character. You want to turn on symmetry so you can sculpt your character so after after you create your character you, you want to do like a UV and send it to procreate okay so that's uh, basically how it works you might want to remesh it but let's see First of all, 
if you want to do the painting you do the uv unwrap in nomad sculpt before you send it to procreate okay it's, this might take a while so while it's doing it i can switch to blender okay as for the rig uh, the character rig this is the bone um, I actually use Mixamo, so I send my character into Mixamo as FBX, so we can kind of rig the character. Um, so, and from Mixamo, we simply download the character with the bones. And once we have the bones, uh, we simply bring it into SnapLens. If I created this from scratch, oh, let me see. Okay, this one is already finished. Okay, this one has the texture. Uh, the lighting is a bit dark because I'm I was using this environment. Anyway, this character is now ready to be painted into Procreate. So I, I simply need to export it as OBJ and then send it to Procreate. And start painting in this one I think the, the nice uh, the best part I think the the most fun is actually to start painting and yeah kind of spend some time to paint your character here I, I usually like the artistic brush and use the this brush and start painting okay you can choose like any random color in Procreate, we don't have symmetry yet, so you can't paint both sides at the same time. But this this is really fun character uh, that you, uh, you you spend just a little bit of time, you know, just to make sure you're happy with the character. I like to use the calligraphy water pen because it, it feels it feels nice, just you know, like the basic character. Uh, yeah, you can have pocket here. It's happy looking character. Yeah, just have have some time, spend some time here, and then you can send it back to Nomad Sculpt for um, further sculpting adjustment. But normally, I just send it to Blender using USDZ. Okay. Yeah, I send it to Mixamo and so on and so on. Once it is ready inside Blender. You just export it as FBX and you bring it into uh, SnapLens, SnapLens Studio. Uh, this part is actually, it's not that hard. If you start a new project, you want to make it clear. Okay, green screen. And by default, you can bring in full body tracking. So by default, you already have this and you can control character. I think this is pretty cool. You can have a bit of motion with the hand as well, with the fingers. Okay, this is me and kind of sitting on the chair like that. Yeah, this is <laughs> pretty cool. And you can, yeah, just bring in your, bring in your character. Just drag and drop it. Let me try show it to you so this is from blender just simply drag it there so I have my character I have this original body mesh example I'm gonna delete that so we have this snail guy so it's already working but just it's a little bit low uh, yeah I need to bring this guys up a little bit I think I just reposition this 50 unit so now it is this guy's on the floor body is moving with it okay I just need to select the armature and try to match this match hierarchy select our armature okay so now it's gonna look a little bit weird by default I think we need to reset the 
arm. So this is the left leg, left. I don't know why, but the, the left arm need to be reset. Zero, zero, zero. So it's like an A pose, I think. T pose, T pose, A pose. I think this is more like a T pose. So now it's looking a little bit better. And just my character, I think uh, the texture doesn't always come with FBX. So I actually bring in another assets that contains my character's material. So we have this texture to apply to this character. So material base texture. Okay, now we have our character and uh, yeah. Now I can start posing the character. I think the rotation is also still a little bit strange, but I, I guess you got the idea. 3D body tracking effect. So most of the things already been done automatically. Camera perspective, depth mode, maybe use a logarithmic. So more or less the effect is done and you can send it to Snapchat on your iPhone or Android device. So yeah, now you can start dancing using your character. And I'm, I'm, I was using the green screen color so you can kind of record your animation dancing and then you capture it and then you might be, you know, just use Blender just to composite yourself back into a different background. All right. So that's basically the whole process. It's a uh, pretty interesting, I think. So um, the whole thing, the requirement is just you need to have like a, an iPad Pro and Blender most of and the rest of them, uh, the Snapland Studio will take care of it. Um, I think that's Pretty cool. I will try another character next time that actually use fingers because it looks more interesting that way, more expressive. But here you go. This is the character ready to perform some dance. If you send this, because this is using the the iMac camera, right? If you are using your own uh, smartphone camera, you can capture the full body. You, you have you can move back because here I don't have enough space, but. Uh, yeah, so basically, you can do some dance move this way. All right, so yeah, hopefully you, you like the, the breakdown of this little project I did last night. The whole thing takes around one hour, two hours, uh, depends if you do it really fast with the sculpting. But things like this take some time, you know, don't rush. Just spend some time, just do the painting. Maybe I will do again the whole thing like starting from scratch but yeah to make a simple character and make it dance using lens studio is a really fun project and i highly recommend it uh, you to do this all right so thanks again for tuning in i'll see you next time bye